Good morning and welcome to Sea Fishing with CJ, back out on the boat. So the question that we are, is burning all our minds, is who is in the locker today? It's Peter. Long time since we've been out on a boat together, Pete, yeah? Yeah. Oh, come on, old man. So, is the early morning rush out? There's a race to get out. And, uh, yeah, let's get down that river and Wet let's get hooks. fishing. Steer the boat for a minute. Yeah, sure. Right, you got it? You got control? Right, well we're out at sea, um, it's a competition today uh, and as, as per normal we're waiting for the Commodore to sound his horn uh, and then we'll all be out. But how, how many have we got out today? I know there's another boat coming. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine including me. One, that's, one that was coming down the slip as we were leaving so that's at least ten boats. That's a good turnout considering it's November. Uh, it is a whiting competition today. So uh, it's the best 12 whiting. I don't think we're going to be landing and keeping 12 whiting, but if we get a couple of decent ones, we will, uh, we will keep them. Um, but um, what I would really like to catch, if I could, can, is I'd like to see if there's a codling out there. So um, we're just going to, initially, we're just going to go off uh, that head. And there's the, there's the hooter, so we're off. Uh, and, and we're just going to go off that headland there onto a reef there. Uh, there's already a couple of boats there, actually. And just see how we get on. Okay, so the hooter has sounded. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, we've arrived. Uh, anchor has dropped. Um, just getting tackled up. I'm the first thing I'm putting down is a set of squid jigs. So um, there are a lot of squid about at the moment. We are on a reef, so there's every chance that there are squid about. So um, essentially, it's three um, different sized, different pattern squid jigs with a, a slow jig on the bottom just to be bouncing the bottom with i'm doing it on a fairly light rod we'll see how it gets on um yeah more on that later i'll show you how to tie these standoff um, loops later on as well if i get time so basically to make these loops you you get a length of line that, that, that double the length of what you want your loop to be and you twist it until it's spins up on itself like that it, it, it invariably never spins up in the place you want it so you have to you have to kind of pull it through until it's in the middle of that um that length of line you've prepared for yourself so that is your standoff loop and then all you do is you fold the line across itself like that and wrap that around six or seven times one two three Five, six. One more for luck. Seven. I always like to do seven for some reason. I don't know why. And then you take your the boom, the loop that you've made, and you thread that through that loop there. And then, with the knot, I like to take hold of the boom and hold it in my teeth like that, and then you just draw it down. And there you have it. Nice standoff loop. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a hook onto that, halfway up our hook snood, and we'll put a hook on the end, and we'll bait those with worms, and um, see if we can't get the skunk out of the boat. 
Well, we have got some company, of course, I put the camera on. Oh, there he is, he's still popping his head up. Old oh, big head. The big seal that uh, seems to live around this area to come out to visit us. Um, if we catch some fish, maybe we can get him to come in close. All right, he's gone down. What I don't want to be doing is winding fishing and suddenly discovering I've got a seal on the end. And they are cheeky enough to do that. Yeah, his camera shot has gone down now. You might have seen him. I'll see if I can zoom in on the little bit that he was here. Anyway, we're fishing. I've got the squid jigs down on this rod. I've got some whiting baits down on this rod. Um, and Peter, you've got whiting baits tipped off what? Worm tipped with a bit of squid. Tip with a uh, cuttle. Good cuttle. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, well. I'm surprised we're not getting rattled, rattled to death by whiting yet. Yeah, it's a. Uh, we're we're stern into the sea at the moment, so the tide is running that way, but the wind is running this way. So we've got the, the swell coming onto the back of the boat, which was, means it's going to be a little bit choppy. That might change once the tide changes. But anyway, no more ado. Let's keep fishing. This will get the fish going. Cup of tea, sausage roll. in uh, because I haven't seen any activity on it and the baits are completely shredded off the off the hook so the hooks are bare so there's, there's definitely some um, bait robbing going on out there so we need to get them re-hooked up and back out again all right Peter's got a little bit of activity on his rod uh, I think it's white in of course I put the camera on that stopped let's turn around and look at my rod Baits were robbed and I was fiddling around doing things so I didn't see any bites but um I missed it. Just feeling anything. Where's something just something there? You caught something, Chris? No. <laughs> I don't think it's there. Probably just a little thin whiting. Tug in. Yeah, nothing there. You can see the top bait's been chewed out though. So we'll freshen that bait up and get it back down. Right, get that weight that bait back to the bottom. And uh, see what's happening. What perhaps I should have done is put a chum sack on the on the anchor, but too late now. Right, the uh, the squid rod line got really tight just then. Wind it in and see if we've got any squid joy. The jigs are inside. No, no, no squidlies. Let's get that back down again. Get it bouncing on the bottom. Gotta get, gotta get a skunk out of the boat. We need to see a little white in. I expect the bait's gone. But there was two. Oh, no, there's something there. Give me a good little knock in. Gully. Oh yeah, there's a fish on. We have a fish. We have a fish. Tugger tuggy. I suspect water whiting. But um, we, if the, the competition today is actually a whiting competition. So um, we're not going to take every whiting that we catch. But if we catch anything that's of a decent size, we will keep them because they're nice to eat. Um, here we go, and it's uh, pouting, <laughs> which we don't really want. First pouting, first first fish on the boat. However, if I can get him disgorged and get him back, right as again typical. Put the camera on. Oh, we still got a bit of, a bit of activity on this rod. Well, certainly a lovely day. Sun, plenty of sun still, lots of sun to come. Spectacular sky. Nothing, 
tugging on the way up, so I'm sus suspecting I've just got a bait mortgage going up. Oh, I've got some baits on there still. Pete's fighting a, a monster. He's <laughs> got a bend in his 50 to 1,000 pound big game rod. <laughs> got there oh we've got nothing <laughs> but you've got a big old bait on there that's what i was thinking about being putting a bigger bait on actually yeah, it was on there yeah possibly dogfish maybe the tide is slackening off uh, big time now and the boat is the wind is starting to overpower the tide so you can see that the boy uh, on our damn boy uh, our uh, alderney ring is actually kind of um off to one side Eventually the boat will swing around and be facing the other way. Um, but we've got that difficult time stage of the tide for the next hour or so where um, we're going to be drifting about. So it's probably better to go down to one rod each, I guess. Otherwise we are going to end up with tangled with lines. There is a gannet over there, which is uh, good to see. Um, probably shoals of sprats and what have you about, maybe. Yeah. Oh. And I turn around in time to see my rod going. Yeah, let's have a look. Something coming in. Small? Yes, I think. Still, still tugging. Still got a bit of tuggage going on. Whoa, dogfish! Woohoo! So there you go. That answers probably what's robbing the baits. So to be honest with you, um, ordinarily we'd be saying that these are a bloody nuisance, but I'm quite pleased to see it. It is a, it is a bit of a scratching day. Um, just lip hooks. Here we go, one Mr. Dogfish. Let him go back. See if we can see him catch the release. There he is. Right, don't mind catching a couple of them. Don't want to get plagued by thousands of them though. I think he's got a bend in his rod. Yeah, it's got quite a That's such a size that is. Alright, well, something else in the boat, so what we want to see. Another species would be good. We've had two. I suspect so it's a doggy. I would suspect it is, but you never know. It's fighting well. It's a doggy. There is some bullas around. Well, there are some bullas around. Shall I protect my my grammar? It's still there. Congreal. Is it swimming backwards? Oh, a conger eel. There you go, I did so we might pick up a small eel. Just, just, just hang, hang slack a bit. A scrap. Sorry? Just a little scrap. Yeah. Oh, gone right in. Yeah, well done. Three species on the boat. And another dogfish. Oh, that's not good, I don't want it there. All right, got a little bit of a semi-emergency. Let's get the engine up. Yeah, because the rope's right under the boat now. the engine being down it's, there's nothing really to catch on tempted to lift the anchor and just drift for a bit which reckon just entirely up to you Chris what time, time is it now time, time. the motor down to <coughs> get out of... 
12 23 so it's not the, the tide doesn't turn for another hour but we're we're not we're not going anywhere we're just drifting we're just kiting around on the tide at the moment well we've turned the boat around uh tides um just about starting to ebb now and it's in the same direction as the wind which is quite nice so the lines are going straight up and down at the moment because there's very little tide running but we are facing the right way now yeah so peter has uh, had a dogfish It did work. Well, you didn't even know you had a bite, though. No. Well, I did have a bite, and then it stopped. I've got some activity on this rod. Uh, I'll wind that in and see how we're getting on. Let's uh, see what we've got anything on here. It was nodding and banging just now. It just, might just be the bait getting rubbed. Well, definitely something there, yeah. Doggy. Maybe. Yeah, it feels like a dog. No, I won't need the gaff for a dogfish, don't I? Mean. <laughs> what have we got? We have got a whiting and a dogfish. So, we came to catch some whiting. I know that uh, they are a nuisance, but they are a little bit sparse at the moment. Bait it up, get it back down. Trawler's obviously lifting his nets and uh, cleaning his fish. Let me see those. So I've got something on here. Something on this one. Big time, taking me up tide and everything. My anchor's pulling. Your anchor, is it? My anchor's pulling on me. Because that boat was ahead of us just now and it's not now. Well, there was something that put bend in the rod then, didn't it? There it is. Yeah, I think my anchor's pulling. Ah, definitely my anchor's pulling. Lift the anchor and put it down again, Pete. Are your, are your lines in? No, I've got one here which I'm just about to pull up.
the anchor was too steep an angle. What have we got, Peter? Oh, here we go. A dogfish! Oh, no, is, it, is it a dogfish? Oh, yeah, it's a dogfish. Race of dogs. See if you can unhook this one without taking the skin off my hand. It's a spot the dog fish, it's got a spot in its nose. Well, always a good idea to hold the tail and the head end of a, of a dog fish so that they can't wrap themselves around your hand and then rasp backwards to take the skin off, which they do on purposes. And uh, can be quite painful. Look, it's got a big black spot on the end of his nose. So let's get back in the water. And away he goes. And away he goes. The lesser spotted cat shark. Dogfish. Doggy. Peter's struggling with a dogfish. <laughs> Might be a cod. No, I'm not that lucky. Oh, I don't know. Nice it is. Lead. Can't see any colour. No, it's a dogfish. It's a bigger one. The dog is not, it's not a bull ass, is it? No. Biggest pot in the bull. Not always. The only really way to tell is from the nasal flaps. There you go. They look bigger and then when you get them in your hand you go, oh they're not that big. Dogfish. Fifty employers. And hooked. And away. Back 
down to the bottom of the briny ogging. You put the cameras on, and what happens when you put the cameras on? It stops. Have a dogfish, I think. Woo. I mean, it, I know the bull husk get grow bigger. It's a bit of dogfish don't get bigger as well, really. And I also know there's, there are quite a lot of people like eating them. I mean, these ones aren't big enough. They're too much hard work. Old skinning them. Have a look. I mean, the one good thing about them is that they do go back alive. So they're, they're tough old, tough buggers. There we go. Away. And swim, 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 little dogfish. Dogfish! So they look big when they're in the water, don't they? Oh, they're gone. Ah, uh, catch them release. They're just holding on to the big baits. Oh! That's a healthy dogfish bite. I think he's hooked though. Yeah, Putting up a bit of a fight, whatever it is. Straight up. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, 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 I'm old, mate. You need to walk in a minute and get the net out, and then you want to walk back. Well, blow me down. <laughs> blow me down. Is it a spur dog or is it a smooth hand? I've got something on the side where I'm rather split up. Make sure I'm not grabbing hold of a spur dog with us and get a spur in the end. Can't see any spurs, can no. you? Smooth down, isn't it? Yeah. That's not a spur dog. There you go. Well, Peter. How you get that off? You want me to get it off, yeah? <laughs> nice. Smooth round. There you go, Peter. Do you want to hold on to it? Get a picture of it? Yeah. Just sort your bait out later. This needs to get back, mate. All my shadow all over you. That's better. Nice smooth hound. And away it goes. Yeah, another species on the boat. Excellent. I think we need to be packing up and going now anyway. Oh. Uh, 
dogfish to finish the day for me, I feel. Mind you, smooth hounds are pack fish. What have we got here? We've got another dogfish! Final fish of the day for me. There you go, I see they're pack fish, aren't they? So, um, it's a sting in the tail. Two little small bounds in, in the space of a few minutes. Okay, well done, Peter. Here you go. Yeah. And away. Really nice to get out on the boat today. Um, we didn't catch thousands of whiting, which is which is strange. I don't know why we didn't get played by whiting. Um, plenty of dogfish, which was kind of to be expected. Uh, yeah, okay, we will keep on doing these uh, through the winter. We won't be doing any two adventures in the winter. We'll just be going dropping the anchor and fishing a bit of ground. Um, <coughs> you're not going to get a dance for a whiting or a dogfish. You might for a cod, but we'll see. Catch you later. Bye.